Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. You know, when people ask a scientific question, it leads you on a path of discovery, a path where the outcome is unknown. And that's the whole process of the scientific method. Sometimes you end up going down a rabbit hole. Sometimes you end up with fruitless results. And sometimes you make a finding that's astonishing, even to yourself as the researcher. So how can we make sure that this process is strong and well-maintained? Well, it's the scientific method. So when people say to you, we own the science or the science is settled, that's not scientific. It's completely the opposite. So if you're going on a path of discovery, let's see what we can discover. And what's our guide along the way? The scientific method. Science is about inquiry, not compliance. And one of the most interesting books to come out of late is this one, The Scientific Method, a guide to finding useful knowledge. Because that's what science is supposed to be about. The objective of the scientific method is the discovery and dissemination of useful knowledge. And it's important that we look at the eight criteria that make up a scientific study. That it, one, studies important problems, that it builds on prior knowledge, that it provides full disclosure, that it uses objective designs, that it uses valid and reliable data and uses valid and simple methods, uses experimental evidence and draws logical conclusions. These are the criteria that are consistent with the Oxford English Dictionary. The modern scientific method is often seen as deriving ultimately from Francis Bacon's Novum Organum of 1620 and the work of Descartes. In the 20th century, Karl Popper's idea of empirical falsification has been important. In practice, a study can contribute to making a useful scientific discovery, even when it does not, on its own, comply with all of the criteria. For example, Einstein drew on the findings of others' experiments to develop novel hypotheses about important problems that in turn could be tested by alternative hypotheses by further experiments. So Friends of Science is an organization which we call ourselves Friends of the Scientific Method, evidence over ideology. And I strongly recommend that you have a look at this book by J. Scott Armstrong and Keston Green, which explores the scientific method as a guide to finding useful knowledge. And you can experience the scientific method at our upcoming event on October 17th at the Red and White Club in Calgary. It's called Break Free from Climate Tyranny, Evidence over Ideology. We'll have two speakers, Robert Lyman, who is a former federal public servant of 27 years, diplomat for 10 years. He'll be addressing the issue of when will climate policy hit the wall? And Professor Emeritus Ian Clark will do a net zero reality check, climate science and net zero reality check. So I hope you can join us on October the 17th, 2023 at 6 p.m. at the Red and White Club in Calgary for this wonderful evening. You can always break free from climate tyranny by applying the scientific method. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. Break free from climate tyranny.
Join us. Get your tickets now.